It's now it's my pleasure to introduce to you the center director of Ames Research Center and the person who makes this event possible, Dr. S. P. Ward. Dr. Ward. Thank you. I really, uh, it's a, my very great pleasure to welcome everybody here to this celebration, a celebration of uh, space and life and art and, and the future. And now, uh, uh, I chose to come as a Soviet general here today, uh, sort of in uh, honor of uh, what we're here for. Uh, for those of you that know me, I, I used to be a U.S. Brigadier General. I think this is a Soviet two-star general's outfit, so I took a promotion. But uh, really, it's a good opportunity to reflect on, on the past. Uh, and there's two events that uh, we're celebrating today. The first was Yuri Gagarin's flight in 1961. The second is the first space shuttle flight in 1981. This is uh, the history. Of the, both of these uh, uh, events, and a lot of others in our early space programs, were motivated more by competition. But we are now entering a fabulous new era, the next step uh, of mankind's development and eventual settlement of the solar system. Uh, this is with our, our uh, programs to go to the moon, Mars, and beyond. But the key thing that this celebration really brings home to us is that we are going as humanity. We're going together. We're going with all nations. And we're going to take with us not just the science and technology, which is so impressive here today, but the art, the society, uh, the, the music, the dancing, and the joy of being humans. So for the next 10, 12 hours, I really want to welcome everybody to, to the past, present, and the future. And the only other advice I could give to you is to party like it's 1961, 1981, or 2081. You take your pick. <laughs> 